I remember, you know, crying a lot. Who wouldn't cry? You know, your child goes out to work and doesn't come home, and then instead of being supported by your country, they started accusing him of being associated with their tax. So that was, you know, it was just not fair, just not right. He actually went to work in Manhattan and he worked uptown and he did not come home that day and uh, we tried to locate him and they told him from his office that he never reported to his job and he had forgotten his cell phone at the job, you know, on Monday evening so there was no way for him to call back home to, you know, call his dad who was home at that time. It was in him to help people. So we knew he would have gone down to help over there, even from childhood. He was very kind and compassionate. He brought home a sick bird once and the bird died and I threw the bird out in the trash can. And when he came home, he says, where's the bird? I said, well, the bird died. So I threw, what did you do? I said, threw him away. He was so upset at me. He went and took the bird out and he buried him in the backyard. And he said, don't you ever do that again. It wasn't a missing flyer, it was a wanted flyer and uh, it, it said, you know, contact the terrorist task force and it said a major chemistry major has police ID. Why, why would your country do that to you? My hope was always there that hopefully he's detained. I mean, even if he's detained, he's alive versus being dead. Well, I definitely was angry. I was angry at the injustice that was done to my child uh, by my country. And my husband would just, he just lost it. He never came back and he died two years later. And that's where I started speaking up against uh, all the uh, injustices being done in the name of 9-11. Because what 9-11 did, it decimated the image of Islam. Well, he invited a few 9-11 victims' families after bringing Osama bin Laden to justice. When he came up to me, you know, he extended his hand and he asked me, you know, who did you lose? And I said, I lost my son. I was wearing his pin. And he said, tell me about him. So I told him, you know, whatever I could about Salman, how what a proud American he was. He was a Star Wars fan. And of course, you, you break down, you know, when you talk about your child that you have lost, you know. And I said, you know, if Salman were here, he would be so happy that I can't believe I'm talking to you. And after that day, I am a different person. My grief, my pain, my sorrows, they just disappeared, you know. And uh, I am a prouder American. I am a prouder American, you know. <laughs>